Hey guys, it's Fish and I'm back with another episode of Dig or Die and we're back on day two. We survived the night just. Um, thank thankfully my incompetence didn't hold us back, but we got there in the end. The next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to start mining uh, some iron. And the only way we can do that is by getting another mi uh, level of miniaturizer. I don't think it gave us a second level of miniaturizer. What did it? No, here we go. So we need another blue energy gem. That's alright, we'll go down and we'll kill these guys until they give us one. That one just gave me one, so that's good. Uh, do I get another one? There's a whole bunch of them here. Something I need to get is that shotgun as well, because the shotgun is actually really, 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 really good. So something we're going to have to figure out. And that was another gem, so I'm not going to miss that. And as you can see, my base is filling up with water. So something that I might just do... Oh, look at that! So some fish are in there now. How the fish got in there, I don't know. Um, but once I get rid of the water... And you can see it slowly but surely goes out. And then the fish starts to lose health. So you can see the realism that they're putting into this level of uh, the game is just amazing. So now we have a miniaturizer level 2. Stronger deatomizer beam should work on rocks. Rocks and also iron ore. So I'm going to head out. Did I get any there? I don't think I got any. Uh, so here we go. Now we're getting iron. Good. Um, okay, I don't think the dogs give anything, to be honest. So I'm just killing them for the sake of killing them. Maybe it's going to be easier if I just jump up here, like so, and then just mine from there. I think it's going to be better if I put another piece of uh, dirt right there just as a little jumping platform and being chased that's all right take that dogs did you give me anything no you gave me nothing so we're gonna have to leave this little hole here but that's all right it gives me a way to get in and out because if I don't I'm not going to be able to um, so we need light flowers okay can do that I don't think these are light flowers let's just have a quick look uh, no, it wasn't. That was... I don't even know what it was. It wasn't light flowers. So we'll go looking for these light flowers. They are uh, they are luminescent, so you're not going to miss them. I will ignore the iron ore because I think we're good for that for the moment. Probably could do with some more crystals, but um, apart from that, uh, that's, that looks like some of that flower that I was looking for. Uh, that might have been it as well. That might have been it as well. Oop. Trying not to kill the fish and um, I think it's really hard not to kill things because they all seem to be very very hostile to me. And finding myself not killing or not killing them when they try to come after me uh, is a tough, a tough uh, You swim pretty well in this game, so. Uh, and you can jump from the water, which is something I don't think you can really do in, in real life, but that's alright. We don't play video games to uh, mimic real life, because if we did, God. I'd be, I'd be bored out of my skull, that's why I play them in the first place. Now, have we got. Have we got five? We got seven. How good is that? So we're good. Go away, dog. Oh, I didn't want to go that way anyway. Okay. So uh, we're going to repair this, but I want to double check. I want to see if it's going to cost me any iron. So we've got 13 there. Repaired. And we've still got 13. So I don't think... So long as you don't ever let it die, I don't think you're ever going to lose it. So we're building the shotgun. How good is that? I don't think we need our original gun anymore, so we can get rid of that. Can I remove it off my hotbar? Yeah, there we go. Okay, and as you can see, look at that. It's just a big 
blast. But it heats up a lot faster, but you'll get multiple rounds at uh, whatever is coming after you. Now, I think we're going to build another one of these little tunnels. Beautiful. And that just gets me up and in without having to worry about it. I don't think I don't think I want that like that anymore either. Uh, okay, so the next thing we want to sort of focus on, let's just get all the the iron ore. That's good. Uh, well, do we need that? No, we don't need that. Next thing is a pla uh, plasma machine gun, which would be pretty cool. Uh, but I think we need coal, which I haven't got any of yet. Uh, we can make uh, health regeneration potions, but as you can see, our health regenerates anyway, so I'm not really too fussed about that. Concrete, if you've got stone, you can get that. A Gatling turret, which would be awesome. Uh, a lamp might actually be really useful. Oh, did I really need to make two of them? No, I didn't, because it gave me two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one there. And at day, in the daytime, it's not really going to be that useful, but at night, it's going to be immensely useful. And I'm going to put one there and there. Okay, now my base is nice and lit. Uh, eventually we'll make this base a lot better than what it is, but for now uh, we're just focused. So what's the next thing that we need? The auto builder needs spread ferns, which I am sure is something we're nowhere near, but we have radioactive blood. We've been getting it from the different animals we've been killing, so we don't have to worry about that too much. Uh, and the Gatling, Gatling turret. I wonder if that is worth having. I really do. I don't even know. Uh, it was a flashlight I wanted to build, wasn't it? I never built my flashlight. Because I used it to build my... Oh, okay. Is it night time? No. Okay, we're okay for the moment. Let's go out and... And it even shoots you backwards as well, which I really like. I keep switching to my... Um, uh, miniaturizer, but on your right click, you automatically get to use it anyway. So you don't have to worry too much about never having your gun out if you're using your miniaturizer. Uh, let's get a few more trees as well. Yeah, nice. That's plenty. Oh. You need to be careful about that, actually, because it does knock you back a fair bit. Look how much that floods. That is amazing. Now, I can't damage my own structures by the looks of it. As you can see, I'm putting quite a few rounds into it. And it's not even crumbling or anything like that. Uh, looks like night time is fast approaching. So we will just uh, make our flashlight. Now, we will constantly illuminate no matter where we are. So that's a good thing. And let's try and survive the night again. It's quite a kickback, actually. I think I'm going to need turrets up here as well. I think I'm going to make a Gatling one and let's try that out. Yeah. Oh, that's good. And then if I build another one... Can I turn it around? How do I turn it around? Surely there's a way I can turn this Gatling gun around, I just don't know what it is. Uh, e to change its direction. E? I'm hitting E. Oh! You put them down, and then that changes its facing. Ah, so it's got to be down before you can change its facing, so... They'll always put down one way or the other. So the second they jump up, they're gonna they're gonna be hit by turrets. I like turrets. Turrets are good. I'm a bit of a turtler in games. But we don't seem to be having too many dramas. As long as I'm keeping an eye on it. There's some radioactive blood coming. So he's gonna come up and you're gonna. Oh, okay, so I'm going to have to turn those around because they're not actually working. Uh, yeah, they're not working in the close-up. So they've got to be they got to be at long-distance weapon. Okay, and we have made the night. We have made the night and we don't have to worry about those nasty of nasties anymore. 
Whew. That was a tough night. No, not really. That was probably the best night we've had so far. Build, sol uh, build solid, stable walls. Yeah, that's good. That's good advice, actually. Build bridges and towers if you've done with care. So, yeah, you've got to be real careful about building those bridges. Now, I think a big part of what we're doing is maybe needing to get... different resources so we're gonna to have to get some stone eventually it's gonna fill up now you can see all the little rivers here fill up not seeing any stone though oh look at that there's an island up in the sky so there's gotta be a way that I can sort of uh, get up there surely okay, let's go down let's get this light flower whatever it is uh, yeah, get some air back. Cool. Now we're getting more scrap, so scrap's gone a long, long way in this game. Oh, there we go. There's some, there's some uh, stone that we can mine, so maybe we can make our walls a bit better with some stone. Now, I wonder if there's gates or anything like that. That might be something to investigate as well. I, def I definitely think some gates um, are something I'd like to look into. So maybe, let's we have a quick look at this. Um, no, it doesn't tell me. Yeah, it doesn't tell me if... Uh... Oh, oh, oh. oh, you can zoom right in. I just found a zoom button. Now it doesn't tell you what you can build. So you've got to be near the auto builder. That's okay. So we'll just finish up, we'll get a little bit of this stuff just to see what we can do with it. Make some concrete or something. Hopefully it's not too boring when I'm mining resources like that. Normally I would make a cut here, but this is sort of the first couple of episodes of the game that I'm playing, so I don't want to I'm hesitant to make too many cuts so you can you can see what the entire game's like and maybe you might be interested in picking it up yourselves. in the description you're going to find where you can buy this game. Really, a real treat that I'm having at the moment though. I'm, I'm really enjoying this game. It's a bit of a, a take. I, I really enjoyed Terraria. I put a, oh, God knows how many hours into Terraria. Uh, I, I found Terraria such an amazing experience. Uh, and different every time. I never really got as far in Terraria as I wanted to, but uh, I think that was by me not understanding uh, what was required in the, to get to that end game then necessarily a game's fault and I think uh, I'm going to push pretty hard in this game just so that I can experience the whole thing now there is an end mechanic where you're trying to build a rocket to get off the the, uh, the planet and when you do that you essentially win the game uh, so we'll see. It's a uh, concrete built on the background layer supports only itself. A concrete block. Okay, so I guess having supports on the back uh, is a good idea. Now we're having a look. Iron support. I'm not seeing any kind of wall. So there's walls. But I don't really see anything along the lines of a. A door. So I'm finding this very, very limiting in the way that I can sort of build. Okay, so we we'll put that down. Let's put the backing in as well. We we'll put the backing in. Okay, so the backing's more for. So the backing doesn't even support itself. Uh, it doesn't even support, you know, another back part like that. So I, I, I don't know. I'm I'm not really getting the point of the backing to be honest, because I can't use it the way that I want to. Uh, but what is that? Auto repair tire slowly repairs nearby walls. What's the range on it? Iron, coral, piranha regen organ. So I guess that's the piranhas. I'm gonna have to start killing the piranhas and getting those to get this repair turret uh, but 
Uh, let's quickly build what we need. Um, I, I think I put all my stuff in really bad places. I'm gonna have to build it up a little bit better. Uh, what's that? Dweller armor? Okay. Yep, cool. Okay, so what is that? And we'll put that there and that there. Uh, no, we didn't need that. So thank you very much, I needed that. All right, guys, so our base is really starting to come along. We're now using concrete, which is amazing. Uh, if I'll have to do some research and look into why the backing exists, uh, and hopefully I'll have an answer for you for the next episode. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed the episode, and if you have, guys, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It really does help the channel. If you're new here, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. It means that you'll get fish gaming videos in your YouTube mailbox every single day, and you won't miss a single one. All right, guys, I've been Fish. This has been Dig or Die. And I'll catch you next time.